computer network computer network is two or more computing devices connected sharing resources among them the various kinds of nodes alias hosts in the computer network can be router hub modem servers computers mobile phones printers etc the network can be wide or wireless advantages of computer network reduction of cost due to sharing of resources scalability can be achieved a network is more reliable than depending on a single source information is easily accessible types of networks types of networks based on area personal area network pan connects personal use devices within a range of about 30 feet it can be wide or wireless example is mobile phone connected to television local area network lan connects devices within a range of about 1 km the connections are wireless or wired by cables fiber optics etc data transfer rate is fast it is secure metropolitan area network man connects devices within a range of about 40 km multiple lans can also be connected to form a man data transfer rate is fast but is slower than lan wide area network wan connects devices across countries or continents many lans and mans can be connected to form a wan internet is an example of wan network topologies network topology it is the way the components are arranged in the network types of topology bus topology ring topology star topology mesh topology tree topology bus topology all the devices are connected to a single communication line so there will be a single communication line this is the bus and all the devices are connected to that single communication line so this is the bus topology any of the nodes can receive data is cheaper and easy to maintain ring topology each node is connected to two other nodes forming ring shape so each node will be connected to two other nodes forming a ring shape data will travel through all the nodes between source and destination data can be transmitted in one direction If one node fails the whole ring fails star topology all hosts are connected to a central node the central node fails whole network fails so this is the central node all the nodes are connected to the central node in a star topology the central node can broadcast to all the nodes or to a single node mesh topology so in mesh topology there are two types of mesh topologies full mesh topology and partial mesh topology in full mesh topology each node is connected to every other node so this is a full mesh topology here each node is connected to every other node in partial mesh topology not all nodes are interconnected because this node and this node are not connected in a partial mesh topology not all nodes are interconnected free topology in tree topology all the nodes are connected to a root node forming a tree structure or a hierarchy so this is the root node and all the nodes are connected to that root node it is also called a star bus topology and it is easy to maintain and find errors network devices routers routers transmits data to different networks they have the information of which networks are connected to them the router analyzes the data packet received and transmit it to the destination the routing table helps in providing the route from source to destination router can be wide or wireless modems modulator demodulator the modem that is sending data converts the digital data to analog signals 
and it is called modulator. The modem that is receiving data converts the analog signals to digital data and it is called the demodulator. The next network device is repeater. Repeater regenerates the signal received and reduces noise. Repeater helps the signal to cover longer distances. Hub Hub connects multiple network devices, sends data packets to all devices. Collision happens when two devices send a packet at the same time. It can be used with digital and analog data if config configured. Gateway It is used to communicate between different networks which may even have different protocols. It maintains the paths of networks which helps in routing the traffic. It works at any layer in OSI. Bridge Bridge connects multiple network segments, example connecting LANs that is local area networks. It is at the data link layer in OSI model. It has single input and single output. It looks at MAC addresses of source and destination and sends data accordingly. Switch It connects multiple hosts. It uses MAC addresses and sends data to the port connected to the device. It can send multiple packets at the same time. It does not send noisy or corrupted signals. Now let us look at Ethernet card and RJ45. Ethernet card or network interface card. It is a network adapter that is on motherboard of computer. The computer is connected to the network through network interface card. With the help of an Ethernet cable. The MAC address of network interface card helps in identifying computer on network. RJ45 Registered Jack 45. It is a network interface which is at the end of all network cables. It has 8 pins. Used mostly in Ethernet cables. History of networking. Late 1960s, the first connected computer network. Advanced Research Projects Agency Network ARPANET came into existence. 1969 First message exchanged between University of California at Los Angeles, UCLA, and Stanford Research Institute, SRI. 1971 First email sent by Ray Tomlinson. 1973 Ethernet developed by Robert Metcalf. Also, the first international network connection, SATNET. Deployed by ARPA, Advanced Research Projects Agency. 1974, Telnet initiated and also Internet Name Award. 1976, first true IP router developed by Guinea Strategy 1978, TCP IP invented by Bob Korn. 1981, Internet Protocol IPv4 was defined. 1983, TCP IP started and domain name system started. 1986 NSF Net National Science Foundation Network started and BitNet 2 started to address bandwidth issues. 1990 First network switch introduced. 1996 Internet Protocol IPv6 introduced. 1997 802.11 standard for Wi Fi introduced. 1999 WEP encryption protocol for Wi Fi introduced. 2003 WPA and WPA2 encryption protocol was introduced. 2018 WPA3 encryption introduced. Now let us look into MAC address and IP address. MAC is media access control address. It is a unique address assigned to Network Interface Controller NIC, assigned by manufacturer and therefore is permanent address. It is a 48-bit hexadecimal address, example 00 colon f6 colon f7 colon 00 colon ae colon 5c. The first three bytes are called Organizationally Unique Identifier OUI. Internet Protocol Address IP Address 
identifies a device on the network. IP addresses are dynamic as nodes may get removed or added to the network. IPv6 address is 128 bit represented by 8 groups of hexadecimal numbers separated by columns. IPv4 address is 32 bit represented by 4 groups of decimal numbers separated by columns. Domain name system is a hierarchical naming system for resources, computers, etc. on internet. It is the system that identifies the resources on internet or internet protocol networks. The domain name can be mapped to the IP address of the resource. It has domain name server which converts the domain name to its corresponding IP address. The domain name server has a database of domain names and the corresponding IP addresses. Computer network models OSI model that is Open System Interconnection model. It has got seven layers. First one is the application layer. This is the top layer and is the interface to the user. It has protocols like HTTP, FTP, etc. for passing information. Example of application is browser. Presentation layer transforms the data received from application layer to the required format to send over network. For example, it may encrypt data, compress data or convert from ASCII to EBC, DIC. Session layer. Session layer creates sessions alias communication channels between hosts. It opens the session to transfer data and closes session after completion. Next is transport layer. Transport layer deals with end-to-end -end issues between hosts. It is responsible for transporting the data between hosts. It may break the data packets to smaller packets if required. Network layer. Network layer performs routing of packets across the network in the best possible route. The IP addresses of sender and receiver are placed in header. Data link layer. Make sure the communication between more nodes is reliable by making transmission free of errors. Physical layer. Physical layer is responsible for physical connection between nodes. Transmits bits, zeros and ones. It is the lowest layer of OSI model. Next model is Internet model TCP IP. It has got floor layers. The top layer is application layer. Application layer is the topmost layer that is responsible for handling protocols like HTTP, FTP, etc. Transport layer. Transport layer is responsible for end-to-end -end delivery of data. This layer defines the flow of data. Transmission control protocol TCP and user datagram protocol UDP are used. Internet layer defines routing and addressing. IP, ARP and ICMP protocols are used. Network access layer. It is the lowest layer. It deals with hardware and protocols to send data physically across the network. Encoding schemes. Encoding is converting characters that is letters, numbers, etc. to special format. The following are the different encoding schemes. ASCII, ASCII, American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Unicode, Unicode supports different languages. It has got these three subdivisions UTF 8, UTF 16, UTF 32. And then ISCII, Indian Script Code for Information Interchange. ASCII, American Standard Code for Information Interchange. ASCII uses 7 bit code to represent character. ASCII has 128 characters numbered 0 to 127. If ASCII uses the 8 bit code, the first being the most significant bit has 256 characters. This is called extended ASCII. ASCII can set the most significant bit as 0 or as parity bit. ASCII do not support different languages. Next encoding scheme is Unicode. It is universal character set. It covers the characters 
of all languages. It uses 8 bit UTF 8, 16 bit UTF 16, and 32 bit UTF 32 encoding. It occupies more space. The next encoding scheme is ISCII, Indian Script Code for Information Interchange. It is an 8 bit code that represents Indian languages. 0 to 127 are ASCII of codes and 128 to 255 are characters of Indian languages. The character set is simple. Lot of Indian languages are covered by this. A special keyboard is required to use this. Unicode includes ISCII characters. Number system is a method to write numbers. The number of unique characters in a number system is called the base of the number system or the radix. Example, in binary system, there are two unique characters 0 and 1. It is also called positional number system because the value of each number depends on its position. Types of number system Decimal number system binary number system decimal number system has got numbers from 0 to 9 binary number system has got the numbers 0 to 1 octal number system and then hexadecimal number system x is decimal number system numbers 0 to 9 are used it is called base 10 system number has positional value also Example is 128.53 that is 1 into 10 square plus 2 into 10 power 1 plus 8 into 10 power 0 plus 5 into 10 power minus 1 plus 3 into 10 power minus 2. So each position has got the values. This is the uh, units, tens, hundreds. So for hundreds we have 10 square. Then for uh, tens we have 10 power 1 and for units we have 10 power 0 here. So this is how this decimal number system is calculated. Binary number system has got zeros in ones. The computers use binary number system. It has two digits 0 and 1. It is called base 2 system because it has got two digits. An example of this binary system is decimal number 4 is binary 00000100. There are 8 bits here and 1 is in the 100th position. So 1 into 2 square that is 4 in the case of the decimal. So this is zeros and then 100 is. 4 in case of a decimal number. Octal number system. Numbers 0 to 7 are used. It is called base 8 system because it is octal. Convert 256 octal to decimal. Let us see this example. So, in case of octal, it is 8. So, 2 into 8 square because it is in the 100th position plus 5 into 8 power 1 because it is in the 10th position and the units position is 6. So 6 into 8 power 0 that is 128 plus 40 plus here 6 that is 174. Hexadecimal number system. Numbers 0 to 9 and alphabets A to F are used here. It is called base 16 system because 0 to 9 is 10 and a to f is 6, there are 16. So base 16 system. Convert 2b3 hex to decimal. Let us see this example. So in case of uh, hexadecimal, it is the 16 uh, system, base 16 system. So we have used 2 into 16 square plus 11 to 16 power 1 because 0 to 9 
and then a to f so a is 10 and b is 11 so this b instead of this b we used here 11 11 into 16 power 1 plus 3 into 16 power 0 that is 691 that is how we convert this x to decimal database management system database management system database is the organized collection and storage of data that can be easily accessed database management system or dbms is a software that is used to manage database it is the interface between the user and the database gives virtual view of data example of dbms softwares or oracle mysql etc features of dbms data is structured making the data retrieval and sharing easy the data duplication and redundancy are reduced due to organized storage of data and data integration space is saved cost is reduced allows multiple users to access data at the same time that is concurrency data integrity is maintained large databases can be maintained without data loss as backup and recovery of data is possible thus there is durability of data data is secure and only authorized users can access data query language like sql can be used to access data types of dbms database management system hierarchical dbms stores data in parent child relationship node parent can have one or more child but child can have only one parent network dbms it has hierarchical structure parent can have one or more child and child can have one or more parent relational dbms it is a database management system that allows to manipulate data in a relational database where data is stored in tables object oriented dbms it is a database management system where entities are represented as object database architecture one type architecture the client, server, and the database are all present on the same machine. User can directly access database. Two tier architecture. The application is at client side and the database is at the server side. The client and server communicate with APIs like JDBC, ODBC, etc. Three tier architecture. The client communicates with the application server and the application server communicates with the database. So there is an application server in between the client and the database used in large applications. Types of databases. Centralized database. Located in centralized location. Users can access the database remotely. Distributed database. Data is distributed among various systems. The various systems are linked. Relational database. It defines relationship between tables which are rows and columns of data. Example are Oracle, SQL Server, etc. Object oriented database. The data stored as objects. It has attributes and methods. Cloud database. Data is stored virtually. The user can access the database on the network. NoSQL database. It stores wide range of data sets. It stores data in various ways including tabular form. OLTP database. Online transaction processing. Used for fast processing of data. Used in cases where database is accessed by multiple users at same time. Personal database. The data is stored in personal computers. It is accessed by a small group of people. Hierarchical database. It has parent child relationship. Each parent can have one or more child, but child can have only one parent. Network database. It has hierarchical structure. Each parent can have one or more child, and each child can have one or more parents. Operational database. 
real time database operational database is a real time database used for daily data operation enterprise database all the authorized users of the enterprise has access to this database it has large amount of data cloud computing cloud computing models there are deployment models and there are service models the deployment models are public cloud private cloud and hybrid cloud service models are iaas infrastructure as a service eaas platform as a service saas software as a service now let us see some other features of cloud computing cloud computing makes available computer system resources on demand available over the internet on pay as you give basis the user can just use the utilities without managing them the services are infrastructure as a service iaas platform as a service paas and software as a service saas cloud can be public private or hybrid public cloud cloud service providers like aws azure etc provide resources over the internet on demand resources are shared resources are delivered by third party providers the customer gets latest infrastructure the services are cheap services are by subscription or pay as you go basis private cloud cloud services are offered by a service provider or they reside on organization's data center it is more secure because the resources are for specific users resources are not shared as there are no multiple tenants issues pertaining to these are not there the security helps in dealing with sensitive data full control over hardware and software hybrid cloud combines public cloud and private cloud features cloud computing service models infrastructure as a service iaas iaas is a service model of cloud computing where cloud hosted servers networks and storage can be accessed on demand the service is pay as you go service resources are scalable and elastic they can be hosted in public private or hybrid clouds latest technology available available across many geographic locations useful in test and development environments example amazon web services microsoft azure cloud computing service models platform as a service paas cloud service provider provides complete development and deployment environment cloud service provider provides computing platform including servers networks storage development tools database management systems business intelligence services and middleware it helps in fast development of applications it helps in focusing on the application without worrying about environment software maintenance is also be done if required it can be delivered through public private or hybrid clouds example is windows azure next service model is software as a service saas cloud service provider provides software on pay as you go basis it is provided over the internet on demand some of the examples of software delivered are office software cad software payroll software accounting software etc installation and maintenance is taken care of by provider applications run on provider's servers they can be accessed from anywhere through a thin client like web browser example go to meeting dropbox future it trends artificial intelligence is a future it trend it is described as thinking and acting rationally it is the ability to take actions that maximize the chance of success machine learning is a part of artificial intelligence where computers learn from data without explicitly being programmed machine learning algorithms called models are built and tested to make predictions deep learning deep learning is part of machine learning 
based on artificial neural networks. It is a set of algorithms which use multiple layers to get higher level features from the input. Natural language processing, part of artificial intelligence, which deals with human language and computer interaction. It deals with the programming of computers to deal with the language data. File checking and speech recognition are examples. Robotics is part of artificial intelligence that deals with design, manufacture and use of robots. Robots are programmable machines that perform tasks automatically. The next future IT trend is Big Data. It is the data that is large and complex. It is the data that cannot be processed and analyzed by traditional tools. Some of the sources of big data are emails, WhatsApp messages, YouTube data, Instagram data, etc. Some of the challenges are storage, processing, analysis, integration, etc. Types of big data Unstructured data, which acts format and it can be heterogeneous. Examples are images, videos, web pages, etc. Semi-structured data. Semi-structured data has got some sort of structure but cannot be defined in relational DBMS. Examples are emails, SML, data, etc. Structured data. Structured data is data that is in fixed format and can be easily accessed. Examples are databases, spreadsheets, etc. Characteristics of big data. Volume. It is huge data which is in terabytes or petabytes or more and cannot be processed by traditional tools. Velocity. It is the speed of generation of data. Variety. It is the unstructured, semi-structured or structured data. Veracity. It refers to the trustworthiness or quality of data. High veracity data is valuable to analyze, for example, data from medical research. Value. It is the usefulness of the information from the data. Big data can be processed and analyzed if the information is useful. Benefits of big data. In the healthcare, it helps in providing personalized medicines to the patients and in medical research. In the marketing, in finding the target market. In the retail, in processing huge number of transactions. In sports training. In government sector, with respect to governmental processes. In international development. Next IT trend is cloud computing. Cloud computing makes available computer system resources on demand. Available or than in internet on pay as you go basis. The user can just use the utilities without managing them. The services are infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. Cloud can be public, private or hybrid. Next future IT trend is Internet of Things. Internet of Things is called IoT is a concept of connecting devices and exchange of data between them over any communication network including internet. The devices have sensors which help in the communication. The following is an example of some of the devices connected. So they are connected over internet or any other network like household items like air conditioning, TV, fan, bulb, and the laptops, mobile phones. So any of the devices can have sensors and can be interconnected and can be exchanged over the internet or any network, any of the data that is required by other systems. Application of IoT or various areas. In building a smart home by home automation, for example, automatically switching off of lights and remotely controlling household devices, monitoring health remotely, blood pressure monitors, heart rate monitors, and smart watches that track health, control of traffic smartly, helps in logistics by better communication between origin and destination and between vehicles, automating agriculture by improving quality and reducing waste.
application or more areas helps in developing smart infrastructure like bridges railways etc helps in building smart cities transport parking lighting security etc helps in monitoring environment like atmospheric conditions earthquakes tsunami etc helps in defense helps in marketing and packaging qr code helps in getting details of the product next it trend in future is blockchain a blockchain is a shared and decentralized database with digital ledger having records called blocks all the computers have a copy of the database a block cannot be altered with past date without changing all subsequent blocks the header of the blocks is visible to everyone while private data of block accessed by the owner the chain of all such blocks is called blockchain example is digital currency prominently cryptocurrency